I have an economics degree. I started as an office manager, and then I became a commercial director. I have a master's in teaching. I taught ethics in a college. I'm 42. I don't have a husband, but I have a daughter. And as a Jewish mother, I want to raise my self-esteem, find work and make her proud. In our society, it's very difficult for single women with children to find any sort of job. We can't afford the necessary childcare, and employers traditionally favor men. These courses are really needed. Our country leads the world in the numbers of abandoned mothers. Sometimes there is a father around, but he doesn't support them financially, and the state doesn't make him pay anything towards the children's upkeep. When I started the course, I was really surprised at the level of organization. It was so well thought through. Many mothers have small children. All their childcare needs were taken care of, so the mother had the opportunity to immerse herself in the education process. I was also impressed by the quality of the teachers, by their knowledge and the way they encouraged us. This part of the livelihood program is uh, self-management, uh, career planning, how to use efficiently the time, stress management, and uh, finding yourself in this uh, society. Our management trainer raised a lot of ambition in us. Our brains started working and new ideas appeared. And thanks to him and his support, I had the idea of opening this second-hand shop. We've been open for just two months. If it seems like a viable option, by the end of this year or the beginning of next, I'm going to open a second shop and grow the business. After eight weeks of studying, we do a couple of weeks of work experience, and I had the opportunity of working in a pharmacy. During the course, I had written a CV, and when I showed it to my employer, she could see that I used to sell cosmetics. As a result, on the first day of my work experience, I was offered a job, and I've been working here ever since. Generally speaking, in numbers, we can say that about 40% of the graduates find jobs. Uh, but that is only on the first step. On, when the time passes, uh, I think it will be even more successful. My deep gratitude goes to the donors and all the people involved. Not just those who invented the course, but those who made it happen. I'm a foreign language teacher by profession, and I was teaching until my boy was born. I'm an accountant, and I worked for a company for 18 years until they went bankrupt. I don't have a proper profession, as I didn't have a professional education. So now I've no option but to stay at home with the kids. My boy is extremely ill and will need expensive medications all his life. Doctors tell me I can't provide what he needs as I don't have income, I don't have a job. Currently, I'm supported by the Jewish community through WJR's Jewish Family Services, but it can't go on forever and it's not enough for what he needs. Our financial situation is dire and that's why I turned to Jewish Family Services, because I didn't even have basic food and clothes for my kids. Life is really hard. 
Just look at the room I live in and you can see. My child had serious health problems from birth, but I worked hard and was able to provide him with whatever he could need or want. Since my company went under, I can't anymore, and so I had to turn to Jewish Family Services for help, and I do thank them very much for understanding and helping. But I feel very ashamed to be asking for help and for being in this situation. Independence is a very important word. I'm desperate to be independent. When you're an independent mum, you can do what you think is best for your child. You can choose and feel like you're managing your family and taking your own decisions. I would love to have my own job and my own income and to be independent. That would mean the world to me.